Are you a Taylor Swift fan who's been excitedly awaiting the official re-release of Red, Taylor's version? Well, the wait is over. The singer has teased her fans for years, hinting that there very well could be an original, more extended version of her hit song Now with Red, Taylor's version, which she officially confirmed. Taylor is not only releasing it to you, but she has also created a cinematic wonderland. Join us as we go behind the scenes of Taylor Swift's All Too Well short film and expose the secrets revealed. Firstly, are the rumors true? Taylor Swift's short film titled All Too Well premiered at 7 p.m. on November 12th. The long-awaited short film starred Dylan O'Brien, Sadie Sink, and Taylor Swift, who directed and wrote the short film herself. Swifties, or otherwise known as Taylor Swift fans, have been closely dissecting the cast members, focusing mainly on the fact that the actor Dylan O'Brien is roughly the same age as her previous boyfriend, actor Jake Gyllenhaal, whom Swifties believe that the song is about, and they very well could be right. Or is it just merely coincidental that Sadie Sink is 19 years old, while Dylan O'Brien is 30 years old? It closely resembles the ages of Taylor Swift, who was 20 years old, and Jake Gyllenhaal, who was 29 years old when they first started dating. Swifties have long believed that Taylor Swift sprinkles Easter eggs throughout her work as she has the 15-minute short film to keep her fans guessing. You can even say that this is confirmed when Taylor Swift tells Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show. It's ridiculous how many there are in the short film. The star ensured that the rumors of hidden Easter eggs and secrets in her short film were true. So what happens in all too well. The film opens with a quote from Pablo Neruda. It reads, Love is so short, forgetting is so long, before cutting to Stranger Things actress Sadie Sink and actor Dylan O'Brien, whose characters' names are never released. They lay down next to each other. Are you for real? She asks him, to which he replies, What do you mean? I don't know, and I just feel like maybe I made you up. Sadie Sink's character answers. Then the couple enjoy a hike and have a steamy makeout session. In the next scene, first crack in the glass. The couple is at a dinner party with Dylan's friends. He lets go of Sadie's hand, making her later express to him how she felt ignored and out of place. She felt poorly about how he treated her differently amongst his friends. Immediately following this scene is a heated argument, and Dylan offers his apologies for his actions. Things seem to be better between the couple as they dance around the kitchen, expressing intimacy, a vibrant contrast to the dark background of the previous argument. Ultimately, they reach a point of no return, resulting in Sadie crying while laying in a bed. She is then seen typing away on a typewriter, but she crumbles the paper. The short film ended when Swift published a romance novel titled All Too Well. She even offers a reading from the book while her former lover watches from a window wearing, you guessed it, the infamous red scarf. Next, what are the secrets behind the red scarf? The red scarf is as iconic to Taylor Swift as white dresses and platinum blonde hair is iconic to Marilyn Monroe. The scarf has its very own folklore when it comes to Taylor Swift's fandom. According to her song lyrics, she left the red scarf at none other than her exes, Jake Gyllenhaal's sister, Maggie Gyllenhaal's house. Maggie was questioned on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen if she has the scarf and her response, You know, I never understood why everybody asked me about this scarf. I'm in the dark about the scarf. It's possible. I don't know, in the film's fictional world, leaves more questions unanswered. If Taylor Swift left a scarf at your house, it would be something that you would remember, leaving her fans questioning if the scarf is supposed to be metaphorical. That is, until it is featured in Taylor's short film, with her ex-boyfriend wearing it around his neck 13 years later during a reading. Does this mean that she saw Jake wearing her red scarf, or simply a part of the video? Now, what do chocolate chip cookies have to do with it? If you're a Taylor Swift fan, you probably already know that the star loves to bake. In fact, during her 19. 89 secret session scene, she invited her fans over to her house to play the album before it was even released. She even baked everyone chocolate chip cookies to eat while enjoying her album. Talk about a special treat. Another rare fact about
about this scene is that the actress Sadie Sink's father is played by Sean Levy, the executive producer and director of Stranger Things. This confirms the fans' theory that she loves to do more than baking and is a fan of Stranger Things and its cast members. Did you know that Sadie Sink is a Swifty? It was a dream come true for the young actress. She recently said in an interview that if she made a fan account for anyone, it would be Taylor Swift. She goes on to say that, I mean, she's the moment right now, so I think I would have to go with her, Sink explained. Maybe I should just start a fan account. She would have at least one follower, me. When she was asked to name her favorite Taylor Swift song without hesitation, she answered, that's going to be all too well. The 10-minute, never-before-seen release was brought up during the interview, and she added, you don't even know how excited I am. So, is the wardrobe a secret clue? Fashion is a personal experience, and a lot of actors are known for their unique clothing choices. Hence, if someone echoes those clothing and fashion choices in a, let's say, short film, the question question has to be asked if it is intentional, as we are learning most things when it comes to Taylor Swift's unique version. Dylan O'Brien's style closely resembles actor Jake Gyllenhaal, and fans believe that the actor is the inspiration for Dylan's looks during the short film. Is it just a coincidence that Dylan bears an uncanny resemblance to Jake? His hair and facial structure almost make you believe that the two could be long-lost cousins. But let's talk about the personal identifier such as the wardrobe. Dylan wears plaid shirts and beanies throughout the film, which are all common staples in Jake's everyday wardrobe. The plaid shirt is thought to be a reference to Taylor's lyrics. After plaid shirt days and nights when you made me your own, it seems that Taylor is leaving more than one Easter egg in how she dresses her actors. The nod to the lyrics that are believed to be about her ex, Jake, ties the theory together wrapped beautifully in a red scarf. If there was any doubt surrounding surrounding who Sadie and Swift are supposed to be portraying, it is dismissed when looking at Taylor's personal fashion choices. When looking at Sadie Sink's wardrobe and later in the video, Taylor Swift, who plays an older Sadie at her book reading, both wear typical Swift attire. Sadie wears a black turtleneck and shows her Taylor Swift classic red lip look. Taylor Swift has teased this outfit while creating her very first TikTok video. She wears a black turtleneck and red lipstick while announcing the red Taylor's version vinyl. Clothes have a story to tell if you are willing to listen. Next, why all of the secrets? Taylor Swift has always been a visionary and an artist, even at a young age, when she first began writing her music. She uses her music to talk about her feelings and real-world events, such as heartbreak and betrayal. This is why fans love her and her music. She tells a story that many of us have lived and can relate to her experiences. Many of her fans believe the secrecy is for legal reasons. Taylor Swift doesn't spill the tea about who the songs are about, which keeps her fans constantly guessing, a tactic that generates more followers and allows her to maintain privacy and anonymity. In a day and age when you can sue someone for literally anything, you can't be too careful. She treats her fans as intelligent, resourceful, and capable people who can read between the lines and put the story together without needing to hear it directly from her following clues, and finding Easter eggs sends her fans on a journey while watching or listening to her videos and music. Fans believe that Taylor strategically placed each Easter egg throughout her video, from the chocolate chip cookies to the red scarf and the cast's attire. It sure was a blast decoding them. Well, there you have it. We revealed secrets and hidden Easter eggs and hoped you enjoyed diving deeper into the behind-the-scenes secrets of Taylor Swift's all-too-well short film revealed. We would love to hear your thoughts and theories below. Until next time!